What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have such an exciting video to film. I am so excited to basically share with you guys how I edit my Instagram. This is actually one of the questions I get on a daily basis. And you know what's so funny is you guys act so surprised when I actually tell you how I do it. I don't know if other people keep it a secret or not, but I have just like, I love what I use. It's taken me like three years to figure it out. And so I just want to share that knowledge with you guys. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I edit my pictures and different tips and tricks that I have and just things that I've learned along the way. And before we get into that, first of all, hi, if you don't know who I am, I'm Davina. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you guys are into lifestyle stuff, home decor, fashion, um, food, fitness at an affordable price, this is the channel for you girl and so hit that subscribe button and then turn on the notification bell that way you'll always be notified when I make a video but basically guys I just want to say this and I swear we'll go ahead and dive right in I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible but a lot of the times I feel like the reason why people don't share their secrets with Instagram or they keep their filters to themselves is because they don't want other people copying them or I mean like me like you've worked so hard to figure it out and you finally have done it you're just like ugh, like someone else doesn't have to go through that process like they can just get it super easily but what I will say is when I've watched these videos before there have been several influencers that I am obsessed with that I love and I was so excited to figure out how they edited their pictures and then I realized we legit use the same filter <laughs> and we use the same techniques and different things like that it's just gonna look different on any person so I just want to tell you guys right now if you're trying to do something similar to my Instagram it's just not gonna work you know I don't mean that in any rude way but I'm genuinely saying like if there's an Instagram that you love and you are aspiring to look like theirs it's not gonna look the same unless you literally have their house their lighting their dog their husband their man their clothes their home decor <laughs> literally anything like that that. because even you'll see on my Instagram me being in my house in Dallas versus my house here I'm in San Diego by the way it looks different and I edit it the same way you at the end of the day are what's most important your personality and what you bring to the table and your value is what's gonna shine through you know your Instagram and so just wanted to say that before we go ahead and get started because that's just something that I used to be frustrated with when I would see other people's and try and like emulate it and make it look similar and it just didn't work out. But I will give you guys some tips and tricks on how to have a consistent feed and how to do it really easily. So if you guys see my Instagram, you guys can tell. It's actually funny because when I'm in San Diego, I don't love the feed, but as I keep scrolling down, you guys can see that it's pretty boho, pretty warm. Um, I love a lot of browns and neutral colors. The vibe that I want my Instagram to have is just to be super effortless. I definitely wanted to have a vibe and have this warm tone like it does with a lot of like greenery and browns and creams and stuff like that. But I do want it to be a lifestyle Instagram. Like I am not scheduling shoots two weeks in advance. I really want it to be more indicative of my life and so I just needed something that was super on the go super easy to do and guys I have found it and so let's go ahead and show you guys everything that I do so first I'm going to show you guys the photography apps that I have so I actually have that all in a folder right here and these are all of the apps that I use to edit my photos but what's actually funny is the one that I use the most is actually not even in this folder because I use it that much so that I don't have time to click into a folder to then click into the app to get access to it we are that serious and so the one that I use right here is the Teza app you guys this is my holy grail I'm not kidding you it's the best app I've ever used and it gets the vibe I want perfectly so it is the one at the bottom with the eyelashes and like the red icon and this app you guys is created by a blogger or an and photographer based in New York City her name is Tezza her Instagram is goals so cute check her out I'll have her link down below but she created this app and it is the app of my dream so I'm so excited this app also wasn't on Android and that was really frustrating too but they recently just released it so that's really good there and basically this is just where I edit all of my photos I wanted something that was a one-stop shop I didn't want to have to do a ton of tweaks I just wanted to be able to take a photo edit it and peace out so first I'm going to show you with the picture that is actually the thumbnail of this video and this is on purpose because this was one of the first pictures I edited with this app when I was like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So nostalgia feels, but we're just going to go ahead and do that one. So I'm just going to go and click the photo and then hit edit. And just so you guys can see, I already know which filters I use the most, but I'm just going to go through some of these so that you can see all the different vibes that she has. 
Also, what's really cool is she does collabs with people. So this is right here is the Summer Fridays filter. She's also done filters with um, black creators as well because if you guys know, a lot of the times presets and stuff like that like are not made for black people. You know, they really don't take into account our skin color. And so she's done some with black creators as well to take that into consideration, which is so, so, so cool. I just love that she's always adding different filters and stuff to this page. And so, yeah, so you guys can see the ones I use the most are Inspire, which is right here. This is the one I mainly use, but I also go back and forth a lot between Glow as well because sometimes I feel like depending on the lighting and stuff, Inspire makes my skin look a little dull and I feel like Glow just like adds some color and vibe to it. It doesn't make it look ashy. And then um, that's basically it. Honestly, those two. Okay, but for this one, I use Glow. I actually had it at like a 47 and that's all I did. I'm not kidding you guys, here's the before, here's the after. Before, after. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's all I did and this is exactly what I wanted, just an app that you can do minimal efforts to and it's good. I will say that picture obviously took less editing because it started out good from the jump. So another tip is that you want to make sure you're taking your photos with great lighting or just have it as close to what you want before you have to edit so that way you have to do minimal editing. So that's all I did there. Another app that I use back in the photography album is Snapseed. And so Snapseed for me is one of those apps that it's just, it's an OG app. If you guys have never heard of it before, you have to download it. But what I love about it is it's a really good fine tune editor. So a lot of the times when we're talking about like problematic images and stuff like that, if your image needs some lighting added or, you know, need to adjust the warmth or the hues and the highlights, things like that. I would a lot of the times do it in Snapseed first because it's really good at fine tuning. So first I'll show you guys what that actually looks like. So you'll hit tools, tune image, and here's where you can like address the brightness and see how gradual that is. So you can really, really play with it. You can, oh, let's put that back to normal. Okay. You can also, you know, adjust the contrast. You can, you know, do saturation, highlights, shadows, warmth, all of that. But what I love about this app, and I don't know if a lot of people know, is that it has a selected tool. And so that way you can edit an image just based off of like a specific part of the image. So you don't have to compromise the integrity of the other parts of the image, you know? So for example, in this image, I actually edited it the way I showed you guys before. I think I used glow on this one as well. And then when I come into Snapseed, I realize that like, I feel like my pants look a little bit washed out and they don't look true black, especially if you guys are selling clothes or things like that. Filters obviously can change the colors that things look and you just want to make sure that it's pretty close to what is actually, you know, being sold or what you're selling. So that way it doesn't cause confusion for anyone. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, okay, let's just edit that. I'm going to hit tools again, and then I'm going to hit the selected button, and then I'm going to hit it where my pants are. And here's what I also don't know people know about this. So yeah, what you can see is that like if I up the brightness or the make it lower, it's just going to do it in that area. However, what you're going to do is you're going to pinch your two fingers and drag it closer, and as you guys can see, the red is where the image is actually gonna be edited. So that's what's really cool is you can fine tune it so much. I edit sunglasses darker this way. I change the color of the sky and stuff if I want a lower saturation. I do so much with this, but for this image, I'm going to focus where my pants are, like right there. And then I'm actually gonna go to contrast and I'm gonna lower the contrast. So tap that, see how it's light before and then it goes dark light before goes dark. I think I can even go a little bit lower. And then I'm just gonna be done. And that's how I changed the pants to just be a little bit more black. And so that way it just like is sharper. But you can also see that literally nothing else in the image changed as well. And so I am obsessed with that app because of features like that. I use it all the time, no joke. And then you would just hit export, save a copy, and you're done there. 
Okay, so here's another app that I also love and it gives me just such Photoshop vibes. I feel like such a bad A when I do stuff like this because I just, again, I'm using an app. I'm not using anything great. I don't have a degree in Photoshop. I don't get Lightroom. I'm not doing any of that. Again, simple is what I wanted. So I'm gonna show you guys the Retouch app. What I do with this is that I edit a lot of things out. So if you know your room is a little messy and you have slippers on the ground and they're ruining the aesthetic of the photo, you can easily edit that out. So I posted this picture on Instagram. This is what I did for my birthday. I did like a boho beach dinner sort of situation. I actually also have a YouTube video up on that. So if you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and click that video as well. So I actually posted this picture on Instagram, but what you guys can see in my Instagram picture is that the beach looks a little bit more clean. And so if you guys are from San Diego, you know that this thing's always on the beach, seaweed and all those things and driftwood and whatever. That's cute and all for the nature, but for a picture, not so much. And so what we're gonna do is we're literally gonna go and edit those pieces like those brown pieces out of the frame so if you see your favorite bloggers like you know on vacation it looks like they're at like the vatican or like some leaning tower of pizza or something like that and nobody's there or they're like at a pretty church or something like that and they're just sitting on the fountain like oh just me lies they tell they are not by themselves they literally edited the crowd out of the photo so i'm gonna tell you how they do it so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna zoom in to examine the scene and see what we wanna get rid of. And then I'm just gonna hit the button called object removal. And all you have to do is literally just pencil over what you're trying to remove, hit go, and it's gone you guys. So because this is sand, this is actually a pretty good target for it because it's gonna look really good and it's not going to look like these pieces weren't supposed to be there because sand doesn't have a pattern right so like you're not going to be able to notice but i would recommend just going one at a time um i'm kind of going in chunks right now but i would recommend just doing it one at a time so that if you don't like the way it looks you can always hit the back button and then adjust from there because sometimes they do take one or two rounds for like the computer to kind of get what you want right but basically, this is what you do, and this is how you can clean up the beach. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do all of it, but if you wanna see it done, just go ahead and look at my Instagram. But let me give you an example of how you can edit a literal object or a person out, because I feel like, you know, the sand one's pretty easy. But just before, so you guys can see, this is a before, and that's an after. Before, after. So you guys can see what we already cleaned up on the beach, right? But now let me go ahead and zoom in on this guy. So it's like, um, buddy, you know, this is Corona times. We are supposed to be distancing. He is way further away than our setting. But what if I just don't want him in the photo, right? Same thing. I literally highlight him and bam, he's gone, you guys. Obviously, you're going to want to get rid of the shadow as well because, like, since there's no one there, there's no need for the shadow. Gone. So you guys can see the before, after before after isn't that so cool i think even over here i also edited out this sign because again there's nothing wrong with these things but i just feel like the cleaner you can get an image that's something i'm striving for my feet is a little bit cluttered but i am trying to like clean it up a little bit more and so i just think taking things out of the background just help and so on my instagram i did get way more in detail but just so you guys can see here before after look at all we cleaned up and it's that simple I do want to show you guys one more app that I use all the time and that is facetune now before you get any ideas I I don't fix my face I don't put makeup on to each their own no judgments I'm just saying for me in my house I'd rather look better in person so <laughs> I don't edit my body or anything like that but facetune has really good features so I will show you guys that um, what I love about Facetune is it has a great whitening tool, it has a great smoothing tool, and it also has a great details tool. And that's what I use the most, the details. So here's an Instagram that I posted, and a lot of times if you guys are posting things that have text or texture, or you know if you're taking pictures of necklaces and you want your jewelry to pop, Facetune's a really great app to do that with. And so what you do here, for example, I kind of just want to make the text pop. The picture in and of itself was honestly pretty sharp. But I would just go ahead and hit details and I just run my fingers through the text 
And then I'm also gonna go over these bunny tails a bit to give them a little bit more texture. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click the check button. So for this one, you might not be able to see it so well, but here's the before, here's the after. Here's the before, and here's the after. So it's pretty minimal, but basically what it does is it just pops the letters and makes it look a little bit more vibrant. Like I said, the image started off pretty well before, but that's what it would do. Also, another thing I did use this for was I whitened the bed sheets a little bit. So they were white to begin with. Obviously, the filter that I put on it made it a little bit more warm. Um, but I did just want to go into the corner again. I know it sounds a little counterintuitive, but I did just kind of want to like spruce up the white. And literally, that's all I'll do before, after. That one you might not be able to tell, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to scribble harder just so you guys can actually see how white things can get. I use these features really subtly just so you guys can actually see a before and after picture though. Here's before and here's after. That's how you could do that. Okay, so I showed you guys like the four apps that I use the most. So what we're going to do is just like a practice round. I feel like I'm in school, you guys. I feel like I'm like teaching. This is fun. but. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and take one image and I'm gonna walk through the whole process of kind of like how I would actually edit for real for real Okay, so we're gonna go back to my favorite app Tezza as you guys can see like these are all the photos that I've been like playing with and we're gonna go ahead and take this one and this is something I actually posted on my Instagram this is like on my birthday and this is just how I edited this photo so even though I know the filters I want to stick with, I always just like look through. I don't know, it's just like to see what I'm missing out on, I guess, <laughs> you know? And so like I said, I would usually use Inspire, but I kind of feel like it washes me out a little bit. There are techniques that I do. A lot of times I will bump up the saturation um, just to like make my skin pop a little bit more. But for this one, I would use Glow again. And because the picture is pretty bright to begin with, I'm gonna turn it down a little maybe do like a 40 or something okay so like i said tesla does have a lot of different features of the app as well it's not just the filters um and you can also do it for videos too i do it a lot on instagram stories and stuff like that but we're gonna go ahead into more of like the fine tuning things what i love about this app too is it doesn't just have a brightness feature but it also has an exposure so you guys can see here brightness just like brightens things up and a lot of the times it washes things out and it's just like I don't love brightness like that but exposure is gonna actually like add light into the picture and so it's gonna look like that and I just feel like it adds such a nice glow to images so I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit maybe we'll be at like a four I know these look really minor but like I see the difference <laughs> And so I'm just gonna hit accept. Um, one thing I do love about this app though, and I use this um, button all the time, is the HSL one. So what HSL does is that you can edit specific parts of the picture based on the color. And so if you guys like, if you have a picture of like a tree or something and you want the greens to be darker or less saturated, you can totally do that. So it's kind of like the selective tool on Snapseed, but you can do it based on color. And so for this picture, this is the how I get my skin color sometimes. Like if I feel like it gets dull, I can change that based on this feature. So what I'll do is I'll probably hit like the orange. And then I will just go extreme just to see where the oranges are in the image. Because sometimes you think it's a certain color and it doesn't really pick up. So I can see, yes, my skin picks up and also the background's going to pick up. Which means I should be a little bit more careful. Um, and so you can either lower saturation or increase saturation. I'm honestly not vibing with saturation, so let's look at hue. And hue is going to go from like green undertones to red. And so I feel like that's actually a good mix because it seems to really um, focus more on my skin. And so I think I'm actually going to lower the hue to like four. Again, it's really minor. I don't know if you guys wouldn't be able to see it based on your own eyes, but what that did was that it just like added a little bit more red into my skin tone to make it look less ashy. And so here's a before, here's an after. Honestly, that's fine by me, so we're gonna save it. I honestly might even lower the exposure a bit. From here, it looks a little bright. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. 
save that image and we're done okay so something else that I could do is that I can go on the retouch app and I'm gonna go ahead and hit that photo and I didn't do this with this photo when I posted it because like I said I was kind of like on the go if I were to redo this again I would take things out like the fire alarm um, and I would zoom in just so that I can get a really good grip on it these things that I'm doing aren't necessary by any means I just think like if I can declutter the photo as much as possible I would um, even like this like dirty tile <laughs> right here um, I can change that too okay and it looks more clean um, it's not perfect but like I said if you had more time you could sit there and like actually play around with it but again that's probably just something like what I would do with the retouch app just as an example but like I said there's a lot of things going on in this image I'm not really like too picky about it so it's fine um, and that is that and then I probably wouldn't do anything in Snapseed because I just didn't feel a need to but Facetune for example I feel like um, I love the fact that my outfit is ribbed and I want to bring that more on camera and I want to make that look more visible um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the details app like I said and I'm just gonna run my fingers over my outfit and you have to be gentle with this you guys because it does pick up your finger really quickly and add a lot of detail so if you are doing this be really light-handed you can always add more because I always end up having to start over because I go too overboard but I'd probably run it through my purse as well and then hit OK. So here's a before, here's after, before, after. Again, that's something really minor. I hope you guys can see this like when I do the screen record. It looks minor, but it really does make a difference. And it's just minimal things like that where you're touching texture that really make your picture pop. And so that's legit all I would do, you guys, and save. That completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you liked it, feel free to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram as well if you guys want to see how my feed progresses. We might be going from the beige to the blues, being in California. I don't know. Not mad though. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.